All right, time to get into our first lesson in the first unit of our year with uh, one variable statistics. So the inquiry question today is, can I explain the difference between statistical, non-statistical, numerical, and categorical data? So that's a lot of verbiage there. Those are a lot of words, big words, but uh, hopefully we can figure this out by the end of our notes here and have you guys practice a little bit with it. So starting off here with the situation, as part of a class activity, you need to ask your classmates some questions. Think about the possible answers you would be getting from your classmates. So question number one, would you rather eat a hamburger, a veggie burger, or a hot dog? So if you're asking someone or various people really the answer to the question, there could be people that say hamburger. That's how I would answer this. I love hamburgers. Um, Juicy Lucy's, anything with uh, a lot of toppings on it, I love a hamburger. But if you're a vegetarian, maybe you wouldn't answer that hamburger. Maybe you would say a veggie burger or maybe impossible burger or something like that. Or maybe you're a hot dog person. Maybe a hot dog or a brat is what you would prefer. So if you ask classmates answers to those questions and they had to choose one of them, you could get some different answers. Hamburgers, veggie burgers, or hot dogs could all be stated by your classmates. All right, what about if you ask this question to your classmates? How many movies did you watch this summer? Well, someone might give the answer, say, like 10. I watched 10 movies this summer. Or maybe someone else said 15 movies. Or maybe someone else said two movies. They just don't watch a lot of movies. Maybe someone else said, I watch 93 movies. I watch movies all the time. There are lots of different possible answers that people could give you to the question, how many movies did you watch this summer? And those would be just some possibilities. Uh, question number three, how many moons orbit our Earth? If you ask students this, hopefully they would know the answer to this is one. We just have one moon that orbits our Earth. There are other planets or um, other solar systems that might have planets that have more moons than the Earth. But our Earth has one moon. There's only one answer to that, and it is one. What is the lightest element of the periodic table? What if you ask classmates this question? Now, some classmates might not know that, but by the end of your ninth grade year, you probably will know that the answer to that question is hydrogen. It's the only answer for that question. So even if people didn't know it, if you did know it, you would answer hydrogen. It's the only answer. It is the lightest element. Okay, so the answers and the questions above here are separated into some different categories. So we have up here some statistical questions and we have up here some non-statistical questions. So what is the difference between them? Well, a statistical questions, st statistical questions are questions that produce variability. Questions that produce variability. Or a collection in the data. And data is essentially the responses, the answers that you get. Okay, now the term variability might not be completely familiar to you, um, but you may recall from maybe some other work that variability is a measure of how much change there is in a data set. So variability is a measure of how much change there is. So that word change is associated with variability. Okay, so statistical questions produce variability or various answers in the data. And 
variability is how much change there is. Okay, so then what is a non-statistical question? Non-statistical questions are questions that only have one correct or valid answer that doesn't change. So valid questions that have only one correct or valid answer that doesn't change. Oops, I guess I can't quite fit that word on there. All right, doesn't change. Okay, so there is a correct answer. Okay. We're going to come back to those questions up top in just uh, a few minutes here, but let's then go down to the answers to these questions could be uh, numerical or categorical data. Whether a question is statistical or non-statistical, the responses to the questions can provide either numerical or categorical data. So numerical data are data or responses to questions that are numbers, right? Because numerical means numbers. That's what, the, it's sort of self-defining in some ways. Okay, so all those answers are numbers. And then categorical data are data or responses to questions that fit into groups or categories. So since they fit into groups or categories, these data, these responses, are typically described with words, not numbers. Okay, so let's go up to the top here and see if we can figure out where these fit in. So let's first go through statistical or non-statistical. All right, let's, let's go with that first. So back to my red here. So statistical, which ones were statistical? In other words, there's a collection of answers. There's a variety of answers that are possible. Well, notice question one, we definitely had a collection of answers. So this is statistical. Notice in question number two, we also had a collection of answers, a variety of answers. There's variability in the answers. So this is also statistical versus the next two questions, notice there's only one answer, and that answer is the only answer that's correct. There's only one moon that orbits the Earth, so this is non-statistical. There's only one answer that is correct. Same thing with the next one. What is the lightest element? Well, the only answer to that, if you know it, is hydrogen. So that's non-statistical, because there's only one answer and it's, that's the right answer, okay? So that's how we tell the difference between the, those two. And now let's think about numerical versus categorical. So let's look at these and figure out which ones are numerical. Well, the first one is answered with words, so that's not numerical, but the second one related to the movies, that's answered with numbers, so this is numerical. Same thing with the third one. The answer to that question is a number. How many moons are there? There's one. Sorry about that, a little messy, but numerical. So those are the two that are numerical, and so then the other two are going to be categorical. They fit into groups or categories that are not typically numbers. So the answers to the would you rather have 
hamburger, veggie burger, hot dog, you might have a bunch of people say hamburger, you might have a few people say veggie burgers, you might have a bunch of people that say hot dogs. So you'd, you'd basically tally up answers in each one of those categories. All right. And last one as well, hydrogen is categorical because it fits into well, it's, it's described with, with a word, not, not a number. Okay? So as we start our discussion of data in this unit and statistics, uh, we are going to be referring back to these terms maybe a, a few times so we can kind of get the idea of when we are coming up with a graph or describing these data. Uh, sometimes we're going to describe them in words. Sometimes we're going to describe them with numbers. And so we're putting them into some different categories here. That is the end of our first section of notes.